Mercury in the 11th house or Mercury in Aquarius? If you were born with this energy, this is an air sign form of communications, and this is energy where the intellect comes into play. And Aquarian energy, remember, is energy that is very much of a humanitarian energy, and it's an energy that has brilliance in their, in their words and their thoughts and their ideas. And so communications with someone with Mercury and Aquarius is going to be different if you're not used to Aquarius energy, because these people are like the Silicon Valley leaders. These are the people that come up with brilliant ideas and ideas that most people don't come up with because they were born with this. So if you're not used to dealing with someone, for example, who has a lot of brilliant ideas, uniqueness, ideas that can change the world or are different um, because Aquarius can also be about their groups and their friends. And at the same token, they can just say, I'm out of here. Aquarians can go alone. They don't need your approval. So Mercury and Aquarius, if you're dealing with someone like that and they distance themselves, don't take it personally. Chances are they're going to come back. Or if you're in a relationship with someone who has Mercury and Aquarius and you get in a disagreement and they just disappear and it's a problem for you, you're going to probably have to talk to them about it. But the key thing is, is not to take it personally. Again, I've mentioned this numerous times. Try not to take the energy personally of anybody, no matter where their sun, moon, Mercury, any planets are. Instead, try to understand it. And then decide how you're going to work with it. And I think it's so beneficial to really, in partnerships, understand the energies that each person carries because that is the key to success versus, oh, she's such a jerk or he's such an idiot or he ticks me off and all this crap, right? Get to know the energies. And this is a brilliant communicator. This is someone who stands out in their brilliance, in their communications. And their communications are going to be different because that's Aquarius. They're unique. And Aquarians, um, again, the communications can sometimes be, hey, let's all hang out. Let's do a big group thing and have group communications and group emails. And then all of a sudden, they're just like, screw everybody. I'm doing it on my own. I don't feel like dealing with the masses. I don't feel like dealing with groups. These people are really very good at working with technical things like computers and cell phones and social media and ideas. And these are the scientific communicators. And unless you have the science, you don't always understand these communications because that's just the energy. So these are the scientific communicators. These are the people that can write those scientific training manuals. These are the people that brainstorm new ideas that change the world. So, if you know someone with Mercury and Aquarius or in the 11th house, know that this is the energy that they carry. They're really good with groups and getting people to come together. And at the same time, they can say, I'm out of here. I don't want to deal. I'm going it alone. They don't care what you think, basically, <laughs> on some level. Again, only you're going to know how you express your Mercury in Aquarius or the 11th house. I'm simply offering some ideas and suggestions for this energy. Okay, I'll talk to you soon.